recipes that I want to give it a try today. Pasta salads, that's what's on my agenda. <laughs> I have scoured the internet on the hunt for some unique pasta salad ideas. One of them is without pasta, actually two of them, but I printed out like 13, so I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to get to today. I'm gonna try my best and actually, I don't think I printed them all out, but I, okay, I'm gonna get through as many as I can. Some of them are so exciting, like Dorito pasta salad, say no more. It's summertime, so it's the perfect season to bust out these pasta salads. It's a perfect side dish. Some of them are refreshing, some of them are heavier. I'm gonna try them all. I'm the type of person, I put a little bit of everything on my plate, all right? The first one I'm gonna put, should I tell you everything? Okay, all right, let's just do a little roll call real quick. Fritos corn salad, Greek orzo salad, buffalo chicken pasta salad, oh yes, taco pasta salad, basil lemon pasta salad, Doritos chicken pasta salad, pasta Caesar salad, easy creamy Caesar dressing, that goes with that one, it's a homemade dressing, uh, you know. Fruit salad with honey lime dressing, yum yum. Lemon herb pasta salad with marinated chickpeas. Where do I sign the heck up? That was a lot. I'm gonna do what I can and then forget about the rest. I'm gonna grab all the pasta. I got all the pasta right here and actually I'm missing one. You know which one was really hard for me to find? The orzo. You guys, I know my local grocery store isn't that big, but I thought for sure they'd have orzo. Uh-oh, how did this get in my grocery bag? I really just wanted to do the Dorito pasta salad, so I would have Doritos to eat. Yeah, I spent my life savings on this orzo. It's rice-shaped pasta. Guess where it was? By the rice, not the pasta. Don't ask me, but that's the first one, well, kind of the first one we're gonna make because uh, it's like, a co I feel like in my head it's a copycat of the Costco Orzo like po like Mediterranean pasta salad they had there, but theirs has meat in it. I don't think this has meat, so better. Because I, I almost got it for a gathering, but my uh, some of our friends don't eat meat, so I didn't wanna like bring it, you know, that's a whole thing. So while I'm cooking up this pasta on the stove top over here, I'm gonna try to be as efficient as possible. This is a lot of pasta. I don't have enough pots. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna turn them all on. And then I've gotta fill them all up. It's gonna be like a symphony up in here. I guess I could have done this beforehand, but I didn't. I'm gonna cover them all up. Well, I was a little bit strategic because I knew while I'm waiting for all that water to come to a boil for the pasta, I am going to make my non-pasta. Ooh, actually, should I make this? Okay, okay, I'll make this one. I have a couple more without pasta, but it's fine, we'll get there. Fritos corn salad, let's whip it up. Fritos corn salad. Did you hear me when I said that? I'm pumped about it. Easy ingredients. You better believe there's Fritos involved and then also corn and salad. So let me get a bowl. This is gonna be good. I could drain the corn. Two cans and in a recent vlog, I did share the difference between the store-bought and this is public, so this is a nice store brand and like the Del Monte brand, and the Del Monte one hands down taste and texture and looks and all of that stuff. If you're gonna recycle your cans, don't forget to rinse them out. Probably supposed to rinse the corn too, so let me do that. All right, good enough. Before I add the corn to the bowl, I'm just going to add the liquid ingredients first. It calls for, holy, a whole cup of mayonnaise. So I'm gonna lighten this up just a smidge and do half a cup mayonnaise and then half a cup Greek yogurt. Adds a little bit of protein, adds a little bit of health. We could all use that nowadays, right? Wait, that's it? Okay, okay, well, no. That will simply not suffice. 
It doesn't even have salt or pepper added. So, okay, the, uh, to the recipe's defense, and who made this? Amanda. It had like over 200 reviews, which said, you know, oh, this is the best thing I've ever tasted in my life, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, while I do believe those people, I also don't believe those people. <laughs> Little bland for my taste. I'm gonna add just some seasonings. Salt, pepper, garlic, little bit of paprika in here, chili powder, cumin, and onion powder. You know, the usual suspects. And here's where I'm coming to Amanda's defense. Because she asks you to buy the chili Fritos. Well, my store didn't supply that for me. I looked all around, I even asked. You know, it is a smaller Publix. So I'm just gonna add my own. If you have taco seasoning, throw that in but this is basically everything that's in taco seasoning, you know? I'm making my own over here. Maybe the chili powder isn't, but it's they're asking for chili Fritos, so I'm doing my own thing. That's why they call me Kimberly Whisk, and that's why I used to have a show on Food Network. Smell test, it's okay. Moving on. I'm going to cut up my red bell pepper into, I'm gonna dice it up, really. Really small pieces. I always cut the bottom off too. That's, you know, otherwise I'd be missing out on all this. Oh, every time I cut into a bell pepper, I just think I should eat more of these. They're so dang good. So flavorful. I'm gonna dice them up, you know, around similar size of the corn. This is gonna add a lot of color too. A nice crispness, a nice freshness. Oh, don't even talk to me about my cutting board. My other cutting board, I had to get rid of it too. So I'm down to this one. I did buy one recently from the lob, but that's a story for another day. Now I'm just gonna combine everything else. So I have the two cans of corn, one red bell pepper, and then a couple big handfuls of cheese. This is just a blended cheese. Mix this up and then here's the kicker. How am I gonna store all this pasta stuff? An entire bag of Fritos. And you know what? I feel like maybe we could just get the scoops and eat it like so. I'm gonna add more flavor to that. <laughs> I'm just gonna sprinkle half the bag in. Maybe wait until w the day of to add the chips. Otherwise, I'm sure they'll get soggy with all of this, but I'll report back. It might not be so bad serving next day. The whole bag is a little excessive if you ask me, but you know what? I guess, Amanda likes to go bigger, go home. I don't even think that's half the bag. And honestly, the cost of Fritos is ridiculous. Oh, then, oh man, that's for a whole dang bag of Fritos. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not doing it and you can't make me. I will, however, take a bite. Okay, I've never had this before. Check it. Ch -ch 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 Check it out. That's it. I'm gonna add a little bit more black pepper. Maybe a little more of everything. Does she have taste buds? <laughs> Doesn't get much easier than this. All right, one down, a hundred more to go. Let's whip through them. Oh my word, I almost forgot. An integral ingredient to the corn salad here. Cilantro, we gotta freshen this dish up. Hello, that's what flavor it's missing, the cilantro. I'm all about the freshness. I'm gonna add a hefty handful. This is exactly what it needs. The brightness of an herb. Look what that did. Flavor, fragrance, and freshness. I've had several people eat some of this, these pasta salads, and this one is a crowd pleaser, a hit. I know it is without pasta, but it's still a salad. It's still a good barbecue side dish, so I wanted to include it. It is perfection. This is what they call a barbecue symphony. Very important, I learned when I lived in Italy, you need to salt your pasta water liberally. It is supposed to taste like the ocean. Okay, lots. It's the only chance you get to flavor your pasta itself. And I'm all about the flavor. All right, I'm starting to gather the ingredients. You know I gotta try some of this. Oh my, the crunch from the Fritos Cheetos. The freshness, delightful. I don't know why I moved this, I need it. Maybe add some beans in there too? Magical. I am gonna make a taco salad and Dorito salad, so I'm pretty sure something includes beans. So for the orzo, the Mediterranean pasta salad, the orzo pasta salad, 
I need some cucumbers. I have these baby ones just because they're seedless and I had them already. You can get an English cucumber. Um, it calls for tomatoes, but you know my ultimate switch is the crunch of a red bell pepper. Love it. Red onion. Hold on, I need to stir. Olives and feta cheese. I'm pretty sure I have some of that. So I'm just going to start slicing up my mise en place and getting everything ready to, to just toss into a bowl and combine it all together. I'm gonna grab three or four of these mini cucumbers. They're so crunchy. They're gonna add such a freshness to this. And I'm gonna cut them into half moons. Just because these are really mini, you can quarter them if you have a bigger one, but I think this is good enough. Yeah, I'm gonna do probably three more of these little ones. The scent of cucumber, oh, it is so nostalgic for me. Cucumber and melon, it's always bringing me back. But it's pretty small, so I'm gonna try to get everything into this bowl. I definitely didn't think about the serving situation here. I'm just going to chop into my onion, and when you cut an onion, make sure to leave the root on. It's supposed to help you from like crying as much, but I just think it helps keep it together. I'm gonna get a few slices out of it, take the outer ring off, and I'm just gonna give it a slice. And then of course the red bell pepper, I'm gonna give this a dice. And then for the olives, it didn't specify. You know what, I think I've got black olives. Oh, it does call for black olives. Well, I'm just gonna eat one anyway, or a couple. It also calls for a half a cup of olives. I go above and beyond. And then like, what am I gonna do with the rest of the can? So I just add it all. And then of course, the star of the show, the orzo. I'm sure you can use any pasta that you like. And I'm gonna wait until it's completely cool to add my feta cheese, but there's also a dressing to this, so let's whip that up too. It's a quarter cup of olive oil, just a couple tablespoons of red wine vinegar, I go a little heavy on this because I like the flavor. I'm gonna throw in some salt and pepper to this. And then you guys know whenever I wanna elevate a dish, I'm always looking for recipes that add herbs and fresh citrus, because that's how it's done. I'm going to add the juice of a lemon. And I'm gonna add the whole thing. Oh, the freshness. Yes, yes, yes. Give it to me. It calls for oregano. I go above and beyond and just add some Italian seasoning in here. It's got oregano plus some. So I'm just gonna mix all of this until it's well incorporated. I'm gonna give it a taste test, you know. I'm trying to think of what the Costco one has that this one doesn't and I think it's spinach. I know it's missing the feta cheese, but I'm gonna give it a taste test anyway. Oh yeah, that one tastes a lot better when it's cold. You guys know I'm always doing my own thing, so I am going to add a little bit of spinach in here. I'm just gonna give it a rough chop, throw it in. Can never go wrong with spinach. And I'm going to crumble in some feta cheese too. Oh my gosh, it just got elevated! Did you see it? Did you witness the magic? Oh yeah, that adds another layer of greatness. The saltiness of the feta cheese just adds another layer to this dish that is just amazing. Who says side dishes aren't the main event? I'm just saying, like, who, do you come to a barbecue for the hot dog, hamburger, boring, or the main attraction, which are all of the side dishes? So this is a great one to add to your summer barbecue. Bottoms up. That's fantastic, and if you wanna throw some meat in there, I won't stop you. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> oh man, it's the final moments. What is next? What else is gonna knock your socks off? My socks are getting knocked off cause I'm having a good time. My Google device isn't working cause our internet went out and then we haven't connected it back. It's been like a week, it, you know, just a million little things we gotta do. <laughs> you know what? I don't know either. I'm trying to figure out which one is the best one to do. I put them in order and I'll just follow the order. Back when I was thinking about it, I put them in order. Next one, buffalo chicken pasta salad. I can barely read this. I really do need a magnifying glass. Surely we need chicken. I am really excited about this one because let me tell you, I haven't had buffalo chicken anything since the Super Bowl and I am ready for it. It calls for, hold on. I gotta put this away. 
Calls for rotisserie chicken. But guys, have you been to a normal grocery store? Rotisserie chickens are like $10 for a little, no thank you. Had these in my pantry, so I'm gonna use it. Cans of chicken. This is what I make my buffalo chicken cheese dip, buffalo chicken dip out of. So I figured it's good enough. I do need a bowl, which will be my constant struggle throughout this entire day here. Don't want it to be too big or too small. Maybe this one. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. The classic flavors of buffalo chicken include celery. How much celery? Wait, is celery even? Third cup, we need more than that. I'm going one full cup. I'll give it a rinse. Cut the ends off. I don't have enough bowls for a garbage bowl. You know, I'm watching all these decluttering videos, inspiring me to declutter my house, and then I'm like, well, what's gonna happen when I'm making 17 pasta salads in one day, and I need a million bowls, you know what I mean? So, that's just my dilemma. I'm gonna dice up this celery. I think that's about good. And then it's calling for some scallions, so I've got two sprigs here that I'm just going to Give the old chippity chop on the wooden block. Cool. To a bowl, I'm gonna make the dressing here. It calls for three quarters cup sour cream, so I'm just gonna do one spoonful sour cream and then one spoonful of Greek yogurt. It's plain Greek yogurt. You won't even tell the difference, but your body will. Although I'm unsure if it actually will because here I go adding half a cup of ranch dressing in here <clears throat> and half a cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. That Greek yogurt is gonna be working hard tonight. I go heavy, heavy half cup, okay? Heaping, if you will. I'm just gonna give this a mix. It's not buffalo chicken pasta unless your upper lip is sweating. Can I get an amen? You're supposed to add blue cheese to this. Is that what it's called? Chunky blue cheese or something crazy? That's gonna be a pass for me. That is not in my flavor profile, but if you like it, you go right ahead. Oh, you know what I could add? Some cheese blend. That's what I'm gonna do. Because why the heck not? Half a cup of that. All right, time to assemble this. How are we gonna do this? Elbow noodles, is that what I mean? There's a lot of pasta. I feel like the elbow noodles yielded the most. I'm trying to eat less carbs, but it's not really working out for me. I just love carbs so much. It says to cook two and a half cups. I don't really know. I don't, I just cook the whole box, you know? I'll leave a little bit out for my kids to munch on. Not as if they won't have 17 pasta salads to eat when they get home. I'm gonna add the celery on top and the green onions. And of course, add in the dressing and just give it all a nice mix until everything is incorporated. That color is looking El Natural. Heck to the yes, and then I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit of green onions here. I think that's it. All right, time for a little taste test. Bottoms up. That tastes funky and fresh. You know what's wild? It tastes fantastic. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'll tell you what's funny. I forgot the main ingredient, the chicken. You know, it was bound to happen. I'm adding two cans. I'll have to cut up some more green onion to garnish, but I'm gonna mix this in. I bet, <laughs> I was like, I feel like something's missing. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna mix this in. Okay, now I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of green onion and then go in for another taste test with the chicken. Amazing, amazing. I bet it would taste even better if you had rotisserie chicken, because you know, everything tastes better with rotisserie chicken. But this is incredible. Everything that you would want from something called buffalo chicken pasta salad. Okay, another crowd pleaser. I wasn't sure about this one as it, okay, so eating them warm versus cold, sometimes there's a huge difference. This one, the flavor is there and it's just crazy because you don't, ex it's flavors I don't expect out of a pasta salad, but it is, pleasantly surprising and a hit uh, once you let people know what is in it. <laughs> Food labels help. Okay, I'm just going to take a minute to tidy everything up and uh, figure out what's next. I realized I need ground beef for one recipe, but I think I'm gonna throw together one of the lighter recipes. Don't forget to hydrate. It purifies the soul. This one calls for pine nuts. And holy cow, have you ever bought pine nuts before? 
All I'm saying is they needed a loan department inside of Publix for me to afford this teeny tiny, I don't even think this is a full cup. It's four ounces for, it was like $9. But I did it for you, okay? You're welcome. Very minimal ingredients for this. White wine vinegar, pasta, oil, lemon juice, cracked black pepper, parmesan. I broke out the fancy pasta for this one. And fresh basil. I think that's it. I don't, I mean, it couldn't get any simpler than this. It kind of reminds me. Well, not really. I need a bowl. Oh, <laughs> I need a bowl. Where are all my bowls? I need a stool. I'm losing my mind. I need a face. This will do. This is fancy. Does it still have the tag on it? Good. Wouldn't be surprised. What do we do now? <laughs> Seems simple enough. You just throw it all together. That's how we work the day away in the merry old land of Oz. Lady with the lemon, anyone? Okay, you play. This is the greatest show. I forgot my Google doesn't work. Rats. Play This is the Greatest Show. stadiums but we're not at that level anymore <laughs> anyway okay what am i doing <laughs> i don't know that was the intermission a quarter cup of white wine vinegar equal parts olive oil so a quarter cup of olive oil as well and one of my favorite like pasta dishes has arugula you cook it with a little bit of garlic pasta and then just olive oil and feta cheese combine that and oh my gosh it's just so simple right Maybe a little more, I wasn't really paying attention. Of course, we need the juice of one lemon. This lemon has been through a lot. Extra juicy, relatable. And I think that's it. You could whisk this together, but is there really a point? By now, this pasta is, woo, pretty cool. So I'm gonna pour some, pour it in a bowl here. The lemon, I swear guys, fresh herbs, fresh citrus, elevates a dish. I'm gonna throw a third cup of the pine nuts in here. Oh my gosh. Should I, I should have toasted them first. I know better. Board on blue taught me better than that. I almost mistook these uh, lemon seeds for pine nuts. Yeah, okay, pine nuts are really good. A little bit of cracked pepper, freshly grated here. Same with the Parmesan cheese. So I don't have a proper like shaver cheese grater. I just have one kind of cheese grater and this called for shaved. And doesn't that just look so much fancier? So add like a half a cup of this in here. That's really nice. Here's the kicker. Do I add this yet? I don't even know. Sure, why not? Just throw the juice right in there. Gotta keep it moist. Okay, looking good, but could be better. Same Z's. I'm gonna grab some leaves off of my basil and apparently, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Someone told me only take like, only take the leaves off. Don't cut the stem. Oh, from the top. Here, there's another trick. I'm talking like I know, but I don't, I don't know. The top looks so pretty. I'm gonna take from the side. How about that? Compromise? We need a quarter cup of basil leaves. Woo, that is fragrant. Can you also believe that I've kept it alive? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's hitting a nerve. I'm going to slice the basil into ribbons. Throw that on here. Ooh, the freshness. Mm hmm Kind of has like a licorice-y flavor to it. I'm just gonna give it a little toss. And voila! Mm, tell me, do you wanna go? There she is. Nice, fresh, citrusy heaven. I'm gonna dive into it, but I do believe I need a fork for this deliciousness. And maybe a Zyrtec. <laughs> All right, well, 
Forget about the fork. Mm-hmm. It's nice and light. The basil really adds to the flavor. The Parmesan, the saltiness, the pine nuts for that texture. Who made this? Julie. She really knew what she was talking about. All right, one more done. That's great. It's gonna, and all of these are gonna taste so much better once they're cold. Great flavor profile there, Julie. Well, the time has come. All right, a couple good ones. I actually have to cook more pasta. I don't know how I forgot about two, two boxes. I'll see how far I get, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to make some more. So the time has come, the Doritos. Really, I just needed an excuse to buy Doritos. And here it was, I saw Doritos chicken pasta salad. Yes, please, and thank you. Oh, this is what the twisty noodles were for. Uh, okay, uh-oh. We made a little mistake here. Nope, that's okay, I don't care. Bow tie is fine. Let me just indulge for a second. Uh, okay. We call these messy chips, we call these party chips. Normally I don't buy them unless we're having a party. It's exact, every day's a party, right? All right, let me get what I need. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, I didn't even bother getting out the Greek yogurt for this one because <laughs> really, what's the point? This one calls for chicken, rotisserie chicken again, or you can make your own chicken. I'm taking the shortcut here because I'm making 17 pasta salad. I'm gonna throw together the dressing, half a cup of mayonnaise, and I'm sure you could use all Greek yogurt here because the flavor is really coming from the ranch dressing, and that's half a cup as well. And then, of course, more flavor. It calls for chunky salsa, one cup of chunky salsa. Um, I don't like chunky salsa, so I always go with like restaurant blend or whatever they call it, or the picante. If that's wrong, I don't wanna be right. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. And I won't forget them this time, two cups of chicken, rotisserie or otherwise. I have rotisserie, but you don't have to be that fancy. And then some green onion. I'm just going to chop up a leaf of green onion here. I'm gonna add most of it, leave some for garnish. Because Doritos don't have enough cheese, I'm gonna add a handful of the blend and a handful of mozzarella. My kids wanna have like a make your own pizza again this summer. That was so fun. I need more mozzarella. I'm gonna mix this together before I add the pasta. Just break the chicken up a little bit. Now I'm going to add the pasta. So one box of cooked pasta. I cooked two of this a uh, bow tie pasta, so I'm just halving the pot. I'm gonna toss this to incorporate. And then the best part, is for three cups of Doritos. Maybe break them up a little bit. And mix, <laughs> mix this in. Who thought of this? Who was like, I'm gonna add Doritos to my pasta salad? Erin, that's all it says. Genius. She's given us all what we really want out of life. I'm gonna go in for a taste test. Bottoms up. That's crazy. It's definitely gonna be a conversation piece. I mean, the flavors are there. I think it could benefit from some seasonings, like maybe taco seasoning, cumin, garlic, paprika, that blend. But um, it's good as is. It's mild, it's not overpowering. The Doritos give it a lot of flavor too, so I think it's really good. I mean, I'd eat it. <laughs> Pick the Doritos out of it. I'm just trying to eat less carbs, you know? <laughs> of course, we gotta to top it, make it fancy. Doritos pasta salad is genius. It is genius. One of my faves. I will say contrary to the Fritos uh, corn salad, the Fritos stay hard a little bit longer. The Doritos, it takes only a couple of hours for the Doritos to kind of soften up, but surprisingly still fantastic <laughs> because I had some after they were softened and I was like, you know what? I might like this better because it's not as big of like a crunch in your mouth, you know? A big of a bite you need to take, you know what I mean? I guess it's hard to explain, but it is delicious either way, crunchy or soft. Cra I mean, it's a Kim pleaser, how about that? Crowd pleaser too. Next up, I'm going to throw together pasta Caesar salad. Doesn't that sound delicious? Caesar salad, but add pasta, great. And I'm going to make a homemade dressing. Seems intimidating, but I have found every time I made homemade whatever, homemade any kind of dressing, have I made Caesar before? Something with dill. 
I made the, I don't know, I've made several in the past. It always tastes so much better homemade. Everything tastes better homemade. So I'm gonna make this easy creamy Caesar dressing and we're gonna whip it up so fast it's gonna blow your socks off. So hold tight, hold on to the edge of your seat, hold on to whoever you're sitting next to uh, while I find a bowl. Pay no attention to the fact that it took me 10 minutes to gather these ingredients. It calls for one cup, what is, what is all this? It just wasn't washed well, that's my fault. <laughs> There's also a chip on this bowl. We just won't talk about that. Okay, one cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of anchovy paste, and I know what you're thinking, that's gross, but if you like Caesar dressing, you've been eating it. It actually adds a punch of flavor, and anchovies are really good for you. It also calls for some lemon juice, just a couple of teaspoons, so I'm just gonna do half. Woo, got me. A couple teaspoons of Dijon. One little teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce for some depth. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. It calls for garlic, and uh, I kinda wanna be lazy and just do powder garlic, but I'm gonna go get some fresh garlic and chop it up. One third cup of grated Parmesan. That's fresh. All right, I did it. For you, I'm adding the garlic in. I could've chopped it smaller, but I don't care. Mix this all together. All right, I'm gonna go in for a taste test. Gotta check the flavor. That's really good. I wonder if it would be different with sour cream instead of mayonnaise. I can really taste that mayonnaise. I'm gonna add a little bit more lemon. My socks are not blown. Now to add the pasta, I'm gonna throw in some bow tie pasta. Really any pasta that you like, I'm sure. I'm gonna chop up one part of romaine. One slice down the middle and then add it to the pasta. A half a cup of shaved Parmesan cheese. One cup of croutons, which I think is funny, so I'm just gonna add the most in here. And I grabbed Caesar croutons. I thought that would be a good idea. Wow, when's the last time you had croutons? A little bit of salt and pepper to taste. I feel like this looks pretty as it is. I don't even wanna toss it, but I gotta get it coated. All right, there it is. You know what? I would go one teaspoon of the Dijon. I just had Alex taste it, because I was like, the dressing is a little off. What do you think? And he said, heavy, heavy on the Dijon, and I agree. So if you're gonna make it, there's my suggestion. Or just use Caesar. Ooh, you know what I found? I should have used this. I found this Bolt House Creamy Caesar, and it is made with yogurt. A little healthier, a little better macros on there. Otherwise, I love the, uh, Ken's Steakhouse Creamy Caesar, or a friend came over a while ago, I think I used it all, and had some kind of Caesar dressing, but it's not here. <laughs> there we are, here's the freshness shot. Please just know, I don't think I reviewed every single one of these, but please know every single one of them was smashing, okay? The dressing on this, mm, I don't know if I would make it again. I just use store-bought, so there's my two cents. I'm moving on. I debated sharing this one with you, it, but I couldn't, I could not share it with you again. It is my favorite pasta salad. It's anti-pasta salad and it's keto if you want to make it that way. It is so good and really I just needed a reason to make it again. So I'm chopping up, I'm going to chop up everything that I need and then I'll assemble it really quickly. It is one of my favorites. I'm pretty sure you're going to love it too. If you're looking for like a healthier, fresher option, this is it. I got a couple for you because I did think about it. I'm gonna make the other one. We're doing bigger chunks here, not so little. It actually calls for tomato, but surprise, surprise, I just love the crispness that a red bell pepper brings. A little bit of red onion. It also calls for mozzarella, and in the past I've done the mozzarella balls, which are just absolutely supreme. But I feel like, since they're a little spendy, it's like a special occasion situation. So I just grabbed a block of mozzarella cheese, and I'm just gonna cut it into little cubes. I grabbed some salami and pepperoni. I feel like the easiest and most affordable way to do it is to just go to the deli and have them slice up some dinner slices so it's not sandwich thickness it's like dinner thickness I don't, that's what i asked for anyway i'm just gonna dice this up that way i don't have to sit there and like peel the pepperoni it's such a hassle five ounces of each i'm gonna throw in a quarter cup of black olives and i like to call this subway in a bowl because that's the flavor profile that i get from this pepperoncinis really bring it out 
They're make, they always make me salivate. I love these so much. I don't, half a cup, quarter cup, one full cup. How much do you love pepperoncinis? You can add more cheese, you can add less pepper, whatever you wanna add. It's pretty versatile, but this is pretty much it. And then there's a dressing to go over top. We obviously know this one is my favorite and it's already gone <laughs> because I ate it all. So for the dressing, little bit of olive oil, three tablespoons, half a cup of red wine vinegar, a few tablespoons of Swerve confectioner sugar, but I just use normal confectioner sugar because I'm not keto. <laughs> a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then some oregano, but again, Italian seasoning for me. And here's the kicker, some fresh basil again. So I'm just gonna cut these into ribbons, bundle it up, freshness unlocked, throw that in the dressing, mix everything together. I'm not sure it gets any better than this, and then just toss it over top. Oh my gosh, I could eat all of it. It's one of my favorite things. Don't mind if I do. Oh, more to say about this one? Wow, am I keto already from eating this? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it did have normal powdered sugar in it, but if you're keto, it's an easy substitute. I'm not even sure if the powdered sugar is necessary. It does give it a nice sweetness, so I enjoy it. That's why I continue to add it. Um, also, the sodium content of this is probably through the dang roof. Clearly, I didn't edit these clips. I just let them roll. Okay, just trying to get some B-roll. I've moved job. on to making the taco pasta salad. And the recipe calls for like, I don't know, a quarter cup of onion. And I started following it and then I thought, what are you doing? You know me, I'm going full onion here. A quarter cup will just get lost in the shuffle. And I was going to cook up another pack of pasta, but I've been reserving pasta. So I have a little bit from all the dishes I've made and this is basically enough, I think, to make the taco pasta salad, so that's what I'm gonna do. So when it's nicely cooked, I'm going to add, ooh, a little bit of taco seasoning in here together. I should probably add some water maybe, I don't know. Just a smidge. Looks good to me. So to the bowl, I'm gonna add my reserved pasta, my medley of pastas. Just gives it character. I'm just breaking up the pasta. It's been sitting for a little bit. And then I'm going, well, hold, just hold on, hold on. Don't even worry about it, nothing happened. I'm gonna throw the meat on top of this. I'm probably halving the portion just cause I wanna save some taco meat for myself and noodles for my kids. I could eat this just as is. This could be, this is like dinner for tonight, you know? Cool, 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 cool. And then I chopped up some tomatoes here. I don't really like tomatoes and I wasn't gonna do this, but you know, here we are. I still have some cilantro on my counter, so I'm gonna add that in too from earlier. Oh my gosh, freshness, there it is. That was not part of the recipe, but it does call for some cheese. I'm sure the meat is gonna melt this a little, but whatever, I did it. Good, good, good. Oh, okay. And you know what? I'm pretty sure that would be good, just as it is, but. Okay, so hot, this dish was delicious without any dressing, but cold, I ate it the next day and I was like, yeah, this could definitely benefit from something um, because the flavor of the beef wasn't kind of wafting throughout. So I would add, you know, what I for me, I'd add the hot sauce, like the taco sauce, but you can add the French Catalina if you so The choose. recipe calls for French dressing, like Catalina dressing, and I'm just not into that. So, you know what I was thinking is I'm going to add Taco Bell hot sauce to this. But I am going to take a taste test first, just to see what it's all about. The cilantro is necessary. It adds so much flavor, but it is not called for. Oh, but you know what it is? Beans, I drained, I drained a can of beans here. I'm gonna add that in. A little better. So, um, I think my kids would eat this as is, but I'm going to add some of this. It's so good. I'm a, it is mild. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of debating just leaving it. I don't think it needs any dressing. It is a little bland without it. I think I've made the executive decision not to add anything to this. I think it's just fantastic. I did add some more cilantro, but that's about all I feel comfortable adding. I think it's really, really good. This could be dinner. I'm so hungry. Okay, I think this is it. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's a flavor profile for just about anyone here. And initially when I started planning this, I found so many articles that's like 50 different pasta salad recipes. And I was like, how? Well, now I understand. There are so many good combinations and I hope you got inspired to make a few.
I made so many more than I was expecting. What is this? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. And I had two more than I wanted to make, but it was getting late and like life happened, you know? So I feel like eight was good. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for cooking with me and hanging out with me and motivating me to make so many new recipes. Don't know what I would, I, would I eat the same thing on rotation? I don't know, probably not. I'd probably still be making all this crap. Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.